My name is Joseph McPherson, and I'm a lab rat. Stuck here in what they've told us is Intermine Laboratories. It's the only place I really know. I have two cellmates here with me. One of which hardly ever speaks, and one who speaks way too much. Hey, Joseph! We need to hurry up and plan our escape! Here's what I think. <sighs> this is Eric Eastwick. He's 14 years old and has dreams of escaping this place. But no matter how many times I tell him, he never gives up. I guess it's an admirable quality in and out of itself. But it's annoying. And if we distract the guards, we're guaranteed to get out safely. Have you thought about where we'll go once we're out? I mean, seriously. Think these things through, Eric. Why don't you just accept it like I did a long time ago? We're going to die. Uh, stupid bunch of people that don't even understand what I'm trying to do. This stupid and the other cellmate is named William uh, McKinley. He's 17 and holds a constant blank expression on his face, so you can never really tell what he's thinking. His grayish bangs hang in front of his eyes and cause an even more mysterious aura to surround him. Even though he barely ever speaks, he always reads from the bookcase in our cell. His favorite book, from what I've seen, is called Brave New World. And he sometimes quotes from it and says four words in response to anything we say. Oh, Brave New World. Brave New World. Joseph, it's your turn to receive neurological tests. Please, come with me. Okay, I would like you to tell me if you can feel these small shocks. Yes. Okay, now here comes the main test. I'm sorry for this, Joseph. Well, Joseph... I would like you to tell me what level of pain you just experienced was. Screw you, you pathetic fool. I see. Ten it is, then. As much as it hurts, I don't think I could even think about escape at this time. Unless an opportunity rose, of course. The place is sealed all over with giant locks. Security is amazingly tight. But I'd risk it. All right, uh, William, can I see you for some neurological tests? On the chosen day, I didn't know what I was doing, just that I should do it. wants to see you. Come on, hurry up! But I just got done with neurological tests. I'm not scheduled for anything else until tomorrow. According to you, get over here! No. Ah! What the hell did you just do? My god, you just stabbed me in the hand! Ah! <laughs> you actually did it! Our lives will never be the same. I hope you realize this. Hey, I only did this because of you! Eric, wait! Well, this place is certainly bigger than I thought. We will take what is ours. No longer will we put up the scum from these blood-stained tears so tears of tyranny. How could you have seen me? I thought I was out of sight. That was... Gideon. Yeah, it looks like he's sparking trouble. I'd better be more careful from here on. Facility encompassment? I need to be more careful. 
careful. <sighs> I need information on the facility to escape, and I'm sure it's here. Where else would it be? Hmm? What's this? Please log in to access the latest page. Username, password. I'll have to find another way to get info then. That's just great. Duck! Bradley? Joseph, are you okay? Where are William and Eric? Do you know what's going on? I don't know anything anymore. Joseph, wake up! What's wrong with you? Bradley, can you get to that information in the console over there? Yes, but do you really want to access it? That information could change your view on the world. Yes, Bradley. I have to have that information. Joseph, listen. You have to think about this. For the first time, I am thinking for myself. Bradley, I need to see what's in those files. Now, are you going to help me or not? Okay! Welcome back, Bradley Masters. Joseph, do you see the picture of the circle with the four rectangles attached? It's the blueprints for the laboratory. <gasps> the laboratory? It's nothing more than a gateway between four other worlds! No, no, that can't be. That would mean... Joseph, you have to calm down. Joseph! I have to find William and Eric. They have to know. I have to tell them! William? William, are you alright? You aren't hurt, are you? Let go of me! Ow! William, seriously! <laughs> Joseph... <laughs> Our time has begun. We must become the leaders of this new world. <coughs> William? William! Where are you? William! Never mind. I have to find Eric and make sure he's okay. To be continued.